What's up, YouTube? If you're new here, my name is J.R. Smith, and I'm an incoming medical student at the Mayo Clinic Alex School of Medicine. Whether you're a pre-med student, a medical student, or a doctor, you'll surely begin to understand and appreciate the importance of research in the field of medicine. And when you end up applying to medical school or residency programs, your involvement in research will be essential to your success. I've spent the last year and a half committed to medical research and I've been fortunate enough to receive eight publications, four of which I was primary author. I've attended and spoken at national medical conferences. And most importantly, I've just learned not only about the topics of my research, but just about the overall importance of research in the medical field. Now I say this only to point to the fact that I've learned a lot about research as well as its implications on a student's professional success. Before we get into the different types of research and the ways that you can get involved as a pre-medical student, let's First, make sure we understand just how important research is, as well as how large of a role you can have as a pre-medical student. The quality of medical care and the advancements and techniques to address certain medical issues is the result of the tireless work and effort put in by scientists and medical researchers. Now let me put something in perspective for you. Prior to 1846, surgeries were performed without anesthesia. Now, as somebody living in the 21st century, it can be extremely hard to imagine agreeing to have surgery without the opportunity to have anesthesia. And this feeling is warranted. The historical record is filled with accounts of suffering during surgical procedures, especially prior to 1846. And one of the most famous stories is one of Frances Burney, an English novelist who underwent a mastectomy in 1811 during her time in France. She is quoted as saying, when the dreadful steel was plunged into the breast, cutting through veins, arteries, flesh, nerves, I needed no injunctions not to restrain my cries. I began a scream that lasted unremittedly during the whole time of the incision, and I almost marvel that it rings not in my ears still. So excruciating was the agony. Frances Burney fainted twice during this operation. However, she was fortunate enough to survive it and she would go on to live for another 29 years. But her testimony gives us insights into the realities of surgical patients during this time. From the development of insulin and penicillin to blood transfusions and full-fledged organ transplants, the field of medicine has come a long way. And with the current strides in things like regenerative medicine, gene editing, and robotics, the advancements in medicine are continuing to grow at an exponential rate. And therefore, as a student, there's no better time to pursue a career in medicine. Not only do you get to practice modern medicine, but you get to actually play a role in further progress. Now, as a pre-med student, you may be thinking, what can I actually do? Medicine is a hierarchical profession, and as a pre-medical student, and even a medical student, we will rightfully find ourselves at the bottom of this totem pole. But that doesn't mean that students can't take part in meaningful research opportunities, and actually the opposite is often true. Attending physicians, fellows, and residents often look to pre-med and medical students for help in completing their research projects. And since most doctors working at academic hospitals are involved in research, it's not too hard to find somebody who needs a little help. You may just have to send out an email or two. Now this is a good time to mention that there are two main categories of research, basic and clinical research. It's important to know the difference between these and which best fit your interests so that you can reach out to the proper resources when you're looking for research opportunities. Now, it's the combination of these two types of research that come together that help advance medicine and also help shape the future of healthcare. Basic research, also known as fundamental research or bench research, examines questions related to how nature works. For example, studying how cancer cells replicate on a molecular level, or how an abnormal protein folds to cause a particular disease. Most students engaging in this type of research are interested in becoming physician scientists, oftentimes seeking advanced master's or PhD degrees because of the increased biophysical and molecular expertise required for this research. Basic research is far more time consuming than clinical research, oftentimes taking many years or even decades to complete. However, it can be extremely rewarding and lead to fundamental discoveries like determining the structure of DNA or synthesizing certain antibiotics like penicillin. So if you're interested in long-term projects that may lead to fundamental improvements in how medicine is practiced, basic research is for you. On the other hand, we have clinical or translational research, which is tasked with taking the results and discoveries from basic research and translating them into something that can be used in the clinical setting. For example, if a basic scientist discovered the structure of an enzyme, a clinical researcher may determine how to synthesize a drug that can bind to this enzyme and assess how this drug may affect a particular disease. Whereas basic research may include things like microscopes and pipettes, Clinical research is often done in animal models and clinical trials using real human subjects. 
Many physicians take part in clinical research, and it is the type of research that is less concerned with theory and more focused on tangible results. Both types of research are critical to the advancement of medicine, and as a pre-med student, it's important to figure out which type of research best suits you, and then get involved as much as you can in that type of research. Again, the majority of physicians take part in some type of research, especially at academic institutions, so don't feel intimidated about reaching out. And in most cases, if they can't help you, they will direct you to somebody who can. From my experience, physicians and professors love having a student hop on board a project, and not only will you learn a lot about that given project, but you'll learn so much about conducting meaningful scientific research, and it is this skill that will serve you throughout your entire medical career. And the more you do, and the more involvement you have in your research, the more passionate you'll be in progressing and advancing the field of medicine. And this is a key characteristic that both medical schools and residency programs look for. And eventually, you may be part of extraordinary discoveries and medical breakthroughs, playing your role to advance the field of medicine further than what past researchers may have ever imagined. As Sir Isaac Newton said, if I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. So spend your pre-med years developing an appreciation for past giants and setting a foundation for yourself to one day become a giant yourself. I hope you all enjoyed this video and feel motivated to play your role in progressing the field of medicine. Please be sure to like this video, it really helps this channel a lot, and be sure to share it with anyone else who you think may benefit. Don't forget to subscribe and tap that bell, new videos every week. But until the next one, keep evolving, and I'll see you guys next time.